Now, the actor and comedian Lenny Henry is being awarded the freedom of Dudley this evening, the first celebrity to get the honour. Our reporter Joanne Rittle is in Dudley now. Now, what uh, prompted this recognition for Lenny, Joanne? Well, Lenny has been given this accolade, this honour, for his outstanding contribution for charity and for services to entertainment. Uh, in a moment, we'll be speaking to the man himself, but first, a look back at his career, the career of this black country-born star. Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to be Lenny Henry. I'll fix it later. <laughs> he shot to fame on the New Faces talent contest in 1975. Lenny Henry's comedy career spans more than 30 years. I'm a British real porter. <laughs> oh, my fair warrior. Oh, my dear <laughs> But four years ago, he made a transition to serious acting and Shakespeare, landing the role of Othello. He said Shakespeare didn't seem to be for working class kids in Dudley. Nevertheless, he proved a popular choice as Othello. I keep thinking of you know, myself as a 16 year old kid, you know, going, oh, Shakespeare's rubbish. <laughs> So to be here now is extraordinary, you know. This is the house where Lenny Henry grew up, here in Douglas Road in Dudley. His father was a foundry worker, his mother worked in a factory. So what do people here in this neighbourhood think of his new honour? We well, were proud of him. You know, he's been one of the early boys. He's done a lot of charity work and um, he's, he's quite a popular man around here. He's a high profile figure, grew up in the area. He sometimes uses the black country accent to further the cause. Very good, very nice man. This year he starred in the West End in August Wilson's award-winning production, Offences. I told the boy, if we want to play football, keep up with his chores and all that. But whether he's acting, making people laugh, or raising money for comic relief, Lenny Henry says his hometown holds a special place in his heart. That's track one. Well, I'm joined now by the man himself. Congratulations to you. What, what does this honour mean to you? It means a great deal, you know. I was brought, brought up working class in Dudley on Douglas Road, Buffery Park. And uh, I have to say, it's fantastic to be given the freedom of the borough, but I had it already when I was 12. <laughs> this just kind of makes it official. It's an incredible honour, and I, it wasn't on the cards for me, you know. I worked in a factory, I was a welder, um, and then I had this incredible blessing. And so this feels like the cherry on the Sunday. It's wonderful to have your name up in gold. I think it needs another coat. But it's fantastic to be honoured in this way by Dudley, and I'm really proud. And I've always been proud of being from Dudley, but this just cements it. So I, I say thank you to everybody. How often do you get back here? I mean, how much has this town shaped who you are today? Um, well, everybody lives here, so I'm, I'm here a lot. Um, my brother Hilton lives here on the Sledmere. Uh, my sister Kay lives in Wolverhampton, my sister Bev lives in Briley Hill, so I'm here all the time. So, I mean, I live in London, but I come back and, and see my family a lot. And I love being here, it's, it's fantastic. And it's shaped who I am, and somebody was saying to me, have you got any memories of living in Dudley? And I said, well, if you buy any of my videos, you'll see them, because I've used a lot of it as material in my show. Um, Dudley has fuelled everything I've done for 36, 37 years. And if anybody wants royalties or money uh, for those stories, it can get lost. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thanks so much and congratulations Thank you again. very much. I'm very proud. We'll be seeing Lenny get his award uh, in about 10 minutes' time and we'll have an update on that for you in our late news at 22.25. Difficult to keep a straight face when he's around, isn't it? Thanks, Joanne. Right, time for a check on the...